Speak Now Taylor's version is finally out, but more excitingly, we just got a new music video for one of the Vault tracks. This is the music video that we saw leaked imagery from, and I am so excited to talk about it. So without any further ado, here is another ultimate Easter egg guide. As always, I have scavenged the ends of the internet to put together a list of everything Swifties have found so far. The video starts with a white van, and in the corner we see that it's July 9th at 1.58 a.m. Now this is of course a reference to her song Last Kiss, but when the video originally came out, the time read 1.38. Does this mean that there was just a mistake from the editors? Or is there some sort of meaning behind this update? Then we get the scene where we see Taylor's red lips on a screen. People are drawing parallels to this, to 1989, saying it's really giving style music video vibes. However, others have also pointed out that it could be in reference to Reputation, where in the video Look What You Made Me Do, we get a similar close-up of Taylor's lips. In the next scene, we are introduced to Presley Cash, who was in Taylor's Mean Music video. She has three star tattoos drawn on her face, which could be representing Speak Now being the third album, but it is also a reference to her outfit in the Mean Music video. Also, if you take a closer look at those stars, they are drawn in Taylor's unique fashion. She's wearing black lipstick and overall people think her look is giving reputation vibes. In the security cameras, we can see this row that has all the same thing in blue at the top, but it's not very clear what is going on there. In one scene, we also see the numbers 052220, which people are pointing out is the release date for Harry's house. So people are hoping that there's going to be a collaboration with Harry in the 1989 re-release, specifically for the song Style, but maybe one of the Vault songs. Then this walking figure reveals herself to be Joey King, who was also in the Mean Music video. She tries to put a code to get into this building, but instead gets a shock, which could be a reference to the Vault track Electric Shock featuring Fall Boy. The shock is, of course, purple, the color associated with Speak Now, and then the entire door lights up in purple. In the next scene, we see Taylor inside the Vault, she has lyrics written on her arm, which is something that she used to do back then, especially during the Speak Now tour. She has the lyrics from Long Live written on her arm, I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. She also has a number 13 on her hand, again, something that she used to do during that tour. She's also rocking the outfit that she wore during the opening of that tour. We see that she is surrounded by tallies, but interestingly enough, none of them are actually crossed out in the way that you typically cross out tallies, you know, when you get to number five. Apparently some Swifties did the work for us and found that there are 1,468 tallies. And they say that this is the exact number of days that have passed since her masters have been sold and the re-release of Speak Now. We know that Taylor loves to leave Easter eggs in her nails, so a specific way you can leave Easter eggs is on nails. I People have been paying attention to the fact that she's wearing what appears to be a black nail polish, thinking it's a reference again to reputation, but it's not really clear. I feel like in some of the scenes, it just looks like dark blue. Up next, we see Joey King doing this typical heist laser dodging scene. The lasers are of course purple, representing the Speak Now era. People find that this scene resembles the sketch Taylor did for iHeartRadio in the past. The sketch was to promote 1989, so they think it is just an Easter egg for 1989. Some people also think that it serves as a hint towards that being the next re-release. The way Joey King blows on the powder to reveal the lasers is also really similar to how Taylor does it on the iHeartRadio sketch, but it is also very similar to what Selena does in the Bad Blood music video. Now, I've spoken about this before, but I do strongly believe 1989 is going to be the next re-release, mainly due to evidence that we saw in the Bejeweled music video, but you can check out these videos if you want to hear more about that. Moving on, Joey enters this Taylor Swift Speak Now era museum where there are so many outfits. So here's everything that I think people have been able to piece together. First, we see the iconic purple dress she wore during her performances of Dear John and other songs like Last Kiss and Speak Now, but I mainly know it from Dear John. There's also a blue version of this dress, which is also found in the museum, but this was apparently for the international tour. Next to that, we see the red dress that she wore during Better Than Revenge. Then we see the dress that she wore on tour when she performed performed Enchanted, and we also see the pink dress from the Speak Now single. We also see the dress that she wore while performing Haunted while on tour. Honestly, there is so much with dresses. I will try to point everything out that I was able to find, but I might be missing a few. Then we have the segment where Joey King looks at the outfit that she wore during the Mean Music video. There's also a picture of her and Taylor. 
Taylor Lautner, who has now entered the music video, like how crazy is that that she got one of her ex-boyfriends to be in the video? And I mean, him being here is also an Easter egg for Back to December. But anyway, back to this segment, him and Joey exchange a concerned look. I'm not really sure exactly what it could be signifying. In the back, we can see the balcony that she used during her Speak Now tour, and we also see the dress that she wore on that balcony. Next to it is also the black dress that she wore during the performance of Long Live, and we also see the banjo from the Mean Music video. We also see some dresses from the Mean Music video, a dress from the Mind Music video, the dress she wore on tour while performing our song and Mean, her dress from the 2011 People Choice Awards. We also see the dress she wore when performing Back to December, her dress from the American Music Awards, her Times 100 Most Influential People in the World Gala dress, pink floral dress from the Speak Now World Tour book, and that's all I could piece together for now. If I have time to search for more while I'm editing, I will add all of that right here, or if you spotted any more, let us know in the comments. You may also have noticed that the glass frames that these dresses are in are very similar to the ones that we see Taylor using now during her Eras tour, during her performance of Look What You Made Me Do, when she's interacting with all these different versions of herself. Now let's talk about some of the other things we see in the background. For example, the bell that she used while performing Haunted on the tour, the red guitar that she used while performing Mine, and she also has this red guitar on the DVD cover. Then we have the scene with Taylor Lautner holding a briefcase that looks quite similar to the one from the Bad Blood music video. We also see him hit a guy with the briefcase, again something similar to what we have seen in the Bad Blood music video. Speaking of hitting a guy, Taylor and Joey are attacked by five men, which could be a reference to the album 1989, which is Taylor's fifth album. I know that this might sound like a stretch, but honestly, you need to remember that everything with Taylor is typically intentional. In the background, we also see the acoustic guitar that Taylor used to perform the song 15 on. We also see the piano from when Taylor performs Back to December, and I kind of love this shot where it's like Taylor Lautner and then that piano in the background. And I think everybody's favorite Easter egg is this scene of Taylor Lautner where he's doing the same moves that he was showing off on Saturday Night Live when he was saying what he wishes he would have done to Kanye when he interrupted Taylor on stage. But that was also kind of an Easter egg to his times in Shark Boy and Lava Girl, so it's like an Easter egg within an Easter egg, I think. <laughs> Moving on, people are drawing parallels between the vault Taylor is in to the vault we see in the Look What You Made Me Do music video. Then we see Taylor Lautner placing three explosives on the door. These light up to be purple, of course, the number three and the purple both being references to Speak Now. We see Joey at the top of the vault trying to get it open, and people are also drawing parallels again to the Look What You Made Me Do music video, essentially because her stance is very similar to what we see Taylor doing at the end of the video where she's chopping off the plane's wing. When the door blows open and Taylor comes out, we see a blue misty smoke that remains inside the vault, which people think is a reference to 1989 being the next re-release. So this is essentially symbolizing that Speak Now has now been liberated and returned to its rightful owner. However, 1989 remains in the vault. The three then run out as the entire place begins to explode. But before they can get into the getaway car, and yes, I am calling that a reputation Easter egg, Taylor looks back and it's almost hard for her to let go. You can see a lot of pain in her eyes and like a lingering feeling like, oh wait, but obviously deep down she knows that even though it's difficult to move on from that past, she needs to reclaim her work. So she takes a couple of seconds to kind of get that closure, I suppose, and then she gets into the getaway car which drives away. While it's crossing a bridge, it goes over this sign that says 1989 TV. So people are saying, again, this is referencing that that is the next re-release, but seeing that there's also a getaway car, I would say, hey, you could argue the same for reputation. But as I said earlier, given the evidence that we had from the Bejeweled music video, I still think that it's gonna be 1989 next. But I don't know, do you guys think there's a chance she will release them together? Uh, because we do have a lot of heavy Easter eggs for both of because them. Because this could symbolize then that the man's wall is not completely wrong because for a while it felt like it was right, but right now it really feels like all signs are pointing to 1989. But I don't know, because for me it really feels like 1989 is coming next, but I would love to hear what theories you guys believe the most. Now that was everything that I was able to find for this music video, so if you have anything else that I've missed, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to subscribe if you would like to hang out again. I've been a little bit busy the last couple of weeks, even though I keep saying I'm gonna be making more videos, I end up somehow making less videos, but I am gonna try to get busy with making more because there's so much stuff that I wanna talk about, like the Speak Now re-release, maybe we can do a video going track by track, and 
Today I went through the great war of getting the Eras Tour tickets, so I think I'm gonna make a short video talking about that as well. And you will have noticed that the video format for today was a little bit different, so do let me know what you thought of this. Did you like this? Do you like it more with the face cam? Uh, today I just chose to do this because honestly I was running out of time and I already felt like I was kind of late making this video and I was really hoping I would find even more Easter eggs to make it like more worthwhile because I'm sure there's a lot of other Easter egg videos out there but I still decided to put this together and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And that is all for today but I really look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye!